you, you fucking asshole. You fucking piece of shit threw a fucking goddamn turtle at me just before the end of the race. Now I'm in eighth. It's Ed. This is Max. And uh, this is River City Pickups. And we're back with episode three, three. which is World 1 3, uh, the way we're going to go by now. And uh, it is titled uh, Nate's Rampage. Nate's Rampage. Because if any of you know, Nate from Thrift Dollars, he uh, pretty much owns City Winnipeg. Uh, pretty much we're all at his beck and call. So, uh, yep, yeah, got to go with it. It's Nate's so, Rampage. Here's to you, Nate. Nate, there you go. Cheers. Cheers. So, um, we're just going to address uh, the overall response on YouTube real quickly. Uh, we just started this channel about a week ago. Yeah, pretty much. A week from this date we're uh, recording this. Uh, so, yeah, we've got two videos in the bank. You're going to be see the second uh, video Tuesday. probably uh, very soon. Um, probably before this comes out, obviously. So before this Why one. am I mentioning this? It makes no sense. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get them out Tuesdays by lunchtime. Yeah. So, uh, keep an eye out for them for, by then. Uh, there will be other videos that we do. Yep. It's not just going to be the pickups. So there will be other videos that uh, that happen in between that aren't necessarily going to be a scheduled date and time. We'll just release them. Yeah, whenever we come up with stuff. Uh, right now we're planning Let's Plays, reviews later on in the future. So we're going to hopefully bring you guys really good gaming content. And uh, from a lot of the comments you've been getting on Facebook, YouTube, it uh, seems like you guys are really enjoying this. So we really appreciate that. We really hope you guys keep on continuing to watch. Yeah, we're uh, really happy to... To respond to everything that you're saying, that's great. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with that. And, yep. and we are aware, you know, of a couple of the technical <laughs> issues with the first uh, two episodes, as you'll see with the next one. Uh, so yeah, so again, we're, we're aware of that. We're working on this, and we hope that this video is actually going to be a lot better than the last couple. I think I think we have most of our technical issues fixed up at this point. Yeah. So it shouldn't be a problem from now on, uh, as far as I know. Uh, but we'll see what comes up within the next little bit. Yeah. Definitely. Again, uh, you know, any criticism, any type of uh, comments that you have on what we're what we're putting out there by all means throw it down there we'll take a look at it we read everything that comes our way it, it really doesn't matter what it is so yeah. again thank you YouTube uh, you really are welcoming welcoming us and uh, we really appreciate it yep, thank you very much guys so uh, first off I guess Ed uh, what have you been playing recently uh, you know this week has been a really busy week being Father's Day so oh, I yes. haven't had a lot of time to play much of the games but we were talking about it so I started playing pal yeah I had, to, I had to put in POW for a little bit, and it was a lot of fun. I forgot how much I actually really enjoyed the game. Awesome soundtrack, really good gameplay. It's a little bit hard if you don't know how to approach the enemies, but it's one of my personal favorites. Obviously, it seems like you enjoyed it, Ed. I do. Uh, yeah, I really did. Um, I knew I wanted it when I picked it up, and it's it's nice to actually have it in my collection, but uh, to actually pick it up and play it again was really nice, yeah. and it refreshed me. I remember playing it when I was younger. It brought me right back to sitting cross-legged in front of my TV. <laughs> and pretty much... All these retro games pretty much bring us back to that day, if that if we have that uh, connection with it. So yeah, yeah absolutely. really good game. If you ever uh, see it in the wild, POW, Prisoner of War by SNK, pick it up. Absolutely. How about yourself? What have you been playing? You know what? What I've been playing recently will be part of our pickup, so I'll actually bring that up in a little bit. Uh, so let's just start with the pickup videos now. Okay, um, how about you start off with your first first okay. little pack? So my first couple games uh, actually kind of left over from last week uh, when we filmed our first two videos. Uh, so this actually picked up as a big lot for 10 bucks. Uh, I picked up a bunch of GameCube games and the system uh, and a controller as well for, like I mentioned, $10. I never catch those deals. You know, no. I always try and find those lots, $10, $20, it never happens for me. It's always like 60 to 70. Pretty much. And you know, the best thing to do is uh, if you see a garage sale with no video games, don't just walk away from it. Don't assume that there's nothing there. Because a lot of my best pickups have come from just asking people politely, oh, hey, do you have any old video games you maybe didn't think of putting out? And a lot of the, my best deals have come from that. This is being one of them. So remember, don't ever hesitate to ask. Yes. Have you seen a state sale? Just walk oh, in and ask. <laughs> I picked up a couple good things from random like old people. Yeah, state yep. sales. Never would have thought I would have found stuff there. But yeah, it definitely doesn't hurt to ask. So, Open uh, houses. Just walk in. <laughs> <laughs> just not start knocking on people's doors. Just be like, hey, old games? No. Old games? <laughs> okay, so first couple games I have here. Just a couple of quick ones I'm just going to show off really quickly. Uh, one of these is One Piece. Now, I know this is an anime. I 
haven't really seen it or played any games, so I don't know anything about it. I don't, I don't even know if it's an RPG or what type of game it it's, is. I've never heard of it. Looking at the back of it, it seems like it's some type of like brawler, side-scroller type deal. So yeah, anyone played this, uh, leave some comments, please. Uh, I haven't really gotten around to playing it just yet. Uh, next one here is a little messed up, as you can see, but Little Nemo. I mean, it's Little Nemo, GameCube. Do you really need to say anything else about it? No. Nope. Uh, next one here is uh, Batin Kaidos. Uh, I've actually heard decent things about this. I haven't actually played uh, played it yet. You got some glare there. Oh yeah, a little bit of glare. Uh, so yeah, so I, I've heard some decent things about this game. I'm willing to give it a try very soon. Uh, now this next game, I actually heard about from Mike Matei from uh, Cinema. I know of this game. Yes. Uh, this is uh... I Ninja. Uh, I've heard it's a pretty decent little fun action game. Uh, you would look at it and assume it's you know very kitty, friend, uh, kitty and kid friendly. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent game. Uh, did played it for about 20 minutes and I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely would recommend that. It's, a, it's one that I'm looking to at least try. I've never tried it. Heard a lot about it. I did watch the Mike Matei video yeah. on that, and it did seem very interesting. Uh, I heard about it when I was younger, actually, when I had a GameCube. Somebody told me I should have tried it even back then, so. It's something that I would definitely like oh, to, definitely, like to yeah. get my hands on and at least try at one point. I'd say it's worth picking up if we ever find it. Uh, no, Ed, I guess he's got a couple here, so... Oh, uh, yeah, I got a, just two, two of uh, newer games, just so I can get the newer games out of the way for this video. Uh, just stick to stick to mostly retro for myself. I, that's that's essentially what my picks up, pickups were for the past week. Uh, but for the Xbox 360 for five dollars, pretty good deal. I picked up Gun. Uh, I had it for the PS2. I liked it a lot, so it's nice to have a more current generation version of the game. It wasn't a bad game. You know, I've actually played it myself on PS2. I think it got underlooked because of Red Dead Redemption. Pretty much, and uh, I actually got it out of the bargain bin. Uh, I, remember, I don't know if anyone uh, you know seen these back in the day, but Walmart used to package like three old school PS2 games back in the day. Uh, picked up this. Uh, Enter the Matrix and some random piece of crap. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was actually a pretty good game. No, for Xbox 360, probably a lot better than the uh, PS2 version. I would assume so. And I, I, again, it's something I just wanted to upgrade it because I do like the game. It was a short game, but a fun game. Yeah. Uh, next exact same situation. This was one that I had on PS2 and enjoyed it on PS2 and wanted the upgrade to it. So we got Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Uh, it's it's one of the more arcadey type skate games. I, I prefer the actual skate series on uh, on P PlayStation and Xbox, uh, just because of its realism. And it has uh, being a bit of a skater myself. I haven't skated in a couple of years, as you can see. Um, uh, but I used to skate, and, and a lot of the physics with the joystick actually replicates your front uh, front. Uh, foot on a skateboard. This is definitely not that. It's push square button in a direction to get yeah. things going. So it's fun. It just isn't as much fun as I, I remember it after I, popping it in. I can't really say much about this game. I kind of gave up after, uh, for Tony Hawk's after three. I mean, really don't need, need much after three anyway. So yeah, uh, decent game to have. You know, Tony Hawk's pretty good. So. The arcade skating I think was perfected after three. Oh yeah, I think three three is where they hit it. That was yeah, the stride. Then a big steep <laughs> decline down. Yeah, I think they're on ten or eleven right now. It's, does it really matter? I mean, is anyone playing them? Hey, actually, if you are, tell me, let us know. Absolutely. Uh, now, the last uh, couple three here from the same GameCube lot. Uh, now, I want to speak about these a little more individually. Uh, so, first one I got here is Metroid Prime. I uh, haven't played this one, but I actually played Metroid, uh, the third one on the Wii. was really awesome, was really impressed with that, and so I'm actually really excited to get into this one. Uh, only thing that's going to deter me is the GameCube controller. I'm not a very big fan of it, uh, so hopefully that doesn't um, you know, disrupt my enjoyment of this game, because I really enjoyed the third one, and I've heard good things about this one. Um, myself, I, I hate, and I'm sure you're going to get some hate mail for this, <laughs> but I hate 3D or first-person Metroid games. It's, it's, I just don't like them. I try every single one. I was not a big fan of them. I didn't mind other M. I actually liked it a lot more than most people that, that played it. That most people hated that game because it seemed to go back to the, the 2D, 2D style. Which but is not a bad thing at all. That's what at I all. like, is the 2D style. Yeah. I love Super Metroid. That's, that's on my top 10 games of all time for sure. Uh, and the original Metroid may not be on my top 10 of all time, but it's really high up there. And I, I've always been a fan of that, that style of game on the uh, just the side-scrolling. I didn't quite enjoy the the, the first-person change-up that they did. Um, again, I haven't really played much of the GameCube ones. I just know the Wii one, the one that you were talking yeah. about. I had a hard time with the control scheme. Uh, next one here is a game that uh, I've actually hear a lot of crap about, to be perfectly honest. I, me too, and I don't mind it. Uh, you know, I still haven't played this. 
be honest, a lot of GameCube games I haven't played yet. Um, but yeah, but you know what, I'm willing to give this one a try. I've heard good things about it, just that it's not the best representation of that franchise. Oh, absolutely And there's not. definitely a reason for that. Uh, we'll get into that a bit. Uh, for this game here, Star Fox Adventures. Uh, so if anyone knows, this game was obviously developed by Rare when they had their uh, ties with Nintendo still. And at the time, they were actually developing this as a completely different game. Uh, I want to say the name of it was Dinosaur Planet or something like that. Uh, basically, Nintendo took the game, say, hey, let's make this a Star Fox game and kind of ruined it for everyone. Because from what I'm hearing, it, people enjoy the game. It's just, it's it's not a Star Fox game. It's it's just not. Everybody expected that Star Fox feel to it. And that game is not. No. That's a, it's, it's a third person action fighter. Yeah, it's kind of an example of like where maybe just throwing a license on something maybe isn't the best idea to ensure success in your game. Uh, maybe sometimes just trusting the developers that they have a good idea and yeah, just let them do their thing because when you put something like Star Fox on this, there's an expectation there. If that's Absolutely. not met, no chance of success. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, one game there. And finally, this last one here. Uh, this, <laughs> this isn't something I'm going to keep for myself. Uh, this is actually going to be going to Ian Beardman uh, with Thrift Thrillers. Uh, so this one here, got in the same $10 lot with the GameCube. Mega Man X Collection. Now, I love Mega Man X, don't get me wrong, but again, I, I have this kind of... Uh, well, not even a love-hate relationship, kind of a hate relationship with the GameCube. Uh, so yeah, just... I, I It's fair, because a lot of people do. Yeah. Their buttons are reversed. That's what bothers people so <sighs> much. Uh, this is going to go to Ian, because uh, if anyone knows Ian Beardman, uh, he's going for a complete GameCube collection. Uh, so I'm going to be really happy to help him out. He's going to trade me something of uh, decent value for this. So yeah, that'll be going to him one day. Yeah, that's, a, that's really awesome of you to do something like that. I always try and help him out, too. I, I don't... I For myself, I don't have a lot of like the bigger... Uh, quality games for him. Yeah. What I usually do is when I go to a thrift store, if I find a Dora <laughs> or something yes. crappy kicking around, I'll just grab it because I know he won't <laughs> grab it. So he, now you just this is part of your collection. Just leave it. You yeah. don't have to give me anything for it. And he's usually pretty good about that. So. Oh, definitely. And I mean, yeah. if you ever know anyone that appreciates these games, they're going for a complete collection. You know, try them out. With, help them out whenever you can. You never know. They might find something you're looking for. You help them out one time. They'll help you out back. So Absolutely. Be, be good to people, you know. You know, make karma. relationships. Karma, exactly. Karma people. So yeah, just uh, yeah, be nice. You know, trade, meet gamers, do that. All right. So uh, my next pickup here, uh, it's nothing crazy. I found it at uh, Value Village for like a buck, but it's the GameCube link cables for. Uh, or the Game Boy SP or whatever it is so that you can link them up for the uh, Pokemon and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, my, my wife is really into Pokemon. Really, <laughs> really into Pokemon. And this will help her out be able to trade those things oh, because yeah. she doesn't really have anybody to trade with. <laughs> so yeah. she trades with herself. F finding people who are into like 10 year old games. Oh, yeah, when, and when they're at age 30 you just don't see it very often. <laughs> so um, Next, uh, at Thirsties. A couple of these I'm very jealous of. Definitely need a few uh, of these. Yeah. These are rough. These are really rough, but I barely paid a dollar for each of them. So uh, it's a bunch of Super Nintendo manuals. Uh, so we'll start it off. I'll just go real quick with them. But we got Illusion of Gaia. Extremely game. rough. Awesome game. Uh, I got a Dragon Warrior. This is a Nintendo one. But I still got a Dragon Warrior one missing the front. Uh, Mystic Quest. Really good condition, Mystic Quest. Donkey Kong Country. Uh, also really good country, er, uh, uh, <laughs> really good me. condition. Thank you. Good, good condition. Uh, one that I don't know why I'm really happy to have, but I'm really happy to have this one. And that's Sim City. This is a really nice looking book. Yeah, it is. And then I got the actual instruction booklet for the Super Nintendo. Helps complete a set if you ever have one. Absolutely. And uh, finally, this is a game pickup. So uh, this is one that I've been looking for forever. I abs This is my favorite game for the system. And definitely a harder one to find for the system. Yeah, so it's it's one of the more expensive ones. Uh, really mint condition too, but that is Skies of Arcadia for the Dreamcast. Uh, now it was remade for the GameCube yep. a little bit later on. Uh, I know a lot of people prefer that because it's fixed about the two or three bugs that this game has has yeah. been fixed on that. I personally just love this version of it. I like being able to use the SMU or whatever it is. That the little, VMU? VMU, yeah, that's yeah. it. VMU, yeah, thanks. Uh, being able to use the VMU for this game and uh, train your little buddy that co goes around with you. Like it, It's a fun game. Kind of sounds like a Tamagotchi. Almost like a Tamagotchi, yeah. yeah you got to keep them occupied and stuff. I used to bring them to work all the time. <laughs> Uh, but it's really cool to have this game back in the collection again. I haven't played it since I got it, so I'm really looking forward to sitting down and playing this. Maybe we can do a Let's Play of that or something. Yeah, no, that, that would be a good one. Uh, so now my next pickup's here. Now, I was mentioning earlier in the video that I've been playing this recently. Uh, now, recently just picked up a brand new system. Uh, and actually, the result of a... 
Well, the E3 presentation, which we'll be uh, doing a video about very soon. You guys will see that on the channel. Probably uh, so, before you see this one. Yeah, possibly. Very possible. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very incredibly happy to have this. I'm jealous you got this one. Yeah, especially you going for the complete Zelda collection. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Uh, I picked up the Zelda Wind Waker HD Wii U bundle. Um, super happy to have this. I'm actually really surprised that I can still find this in stores. I am too. I mean, you would figure Zelda, the beautiful etching around this, or not etching, but I mean, all the stickers. The sticker. Well, <laughs> not really a sticker. It's kind of uh, painted on there. But either way, you know, it looks really awesome. Uh, you know, really happy with the system so far, and I really would recommend anyone who's on the fence about it uh, definitely pick up a Wii U right now because over the next year or two, we're really going to start to see those awesome, amazing Nintendo games come out. Oh and, yeah, uh, definitely a reason to pick it up. This now. is this is a big year for Nintendo. oh yeah this year specifically very big for Nintendo. I mean, they blew my mind at E3 like that was a crazy, crazy presentation. Oh. And people are giving them crap about it before, so yeah, they they were giving them a lot of crap on yep. how they would never be able to surpass. Oh, I think they Nintendo's were Nintendo's dead. They're going to be down and not if there was. A more. crowned winner of E3. Oh, Nintendo has it. Hands down, Nintendo had it. Yeah. So, and also with that Wii U bundle, uh, definitely picked up this game, which Ed showed it off uh, last week, and actually I played with him uh, when I was here at his place. Mm -hmm. uh, really fun. I would recommend this to any Mario Kart fan, and I think you know what I'm talking about now. Uh, Mario Kart 8. Uh, this is super fun. Really awesome game. Uh, the graphics in it are amazing. The gameplay, the controls are amazing. Uh, tight, super really fun. tight. Uh, yeah, really tight. And I, I think problem with the Wii a version of this game was that it just kind of felt floaty, and you didn't really feel like you were kind of grounded in the game. And this one, you really got that connection with the road. It's it's amazing. And also, uh, I actually, you know, to just cut, just a comment. Um, this game makes me swear like nothing <laughs> I've played in the longest time. Um, you know, I play shooters a lot, and those I rarely ever fucking utter a single word during, but this thing makes me cuss like a goddamn sailor, like... Oh yeah, it's, I, I swear a lot. I mean, I'm with my wife swearing at her. <laughs> <laughs> Which is always going to go over well, by the way. That's uh, definitely my biggest pickup of the week. Uh, uh, speaking super happy of that. Of, oh, yes. Yeah, speaking of going over and uh, getting the same thing that the other had on a different video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this is my pickup, and you had the pleasure of showing this off on our first video. Yep. And I get the pleasure of showing it off on this one, but that is Captain America and the Avengers. Again, really awesome game, really good beat em up. Uh, definitely been going up in price, yeah. like we mentioned in the last video. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so yeah, definitely good pickup. Yeah, and you know us discussing it the last video made me want to pick it up, oh. so I went and searched for it, found it. it actually, wasn't too hard to find. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's uh, definitely not too common. I think, like I mentioned in the last video, the uh, Captain America movies, the Avenger movies coming out. Definitely, uh, it's time to scoop this that, up. Yeah. yeah, it's time to scoop this up, especially with the way Marvel's going over the next oh, couple pretty years. Much. Uh, now, last couple pickups for the week. Uh, pretty much, these are something I actually forgot to show up last time. Uh, so, right now, I'm just going to quick show off uh, here. Now, this game, I actually saw an ad on Kijiji, which uh, for our American viewers, pretty much like your Craigslist. Uh, now, this person was actually advertising this with four other games. Pick those up, but eh, it's kind of random crap. Uh, but this is actually really, really worth showing off. Uh, super happy I got this for free. Godzilla 2 on the NES. Uh, now, if anyone uh, saw this on the uh, Angry Video Game Nerd video, you know, give it a chance. It's uh, not the greatest game. I could see how some people might hate it, but it's actually really a lot of fun. Just kind of a, you know, RTS strategy type game. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. Other one I picked up here, Pokemon Gold. Uh, picked it up from my buddy Chris for a couple bucks, and yeah, really enjoying uh, that I got this. Uh, trying to go for a complete Pokemon collection at some point, which is definitely an easier collection to pick up, as obviously these games are not very rare at all. Yeah, they're all over the place. Uh, I guess this one would be the pickup of the week for this episode, because you know what, this video I actually forgot to show off on our last couple. <laughs> uh, now this one, uh, actually a bit of an interesting story, I picked up the box for this like two years ago, went to go pick up a ran bunch of random NES games for five bucks, saw this sitting in there. I was like, oh, you know, can I please have this box? It gave me a bit of a weird look, but of course, obviously, as collectors, you see this stuff, especially a game like this, you pick it up as you soon as you can. You can always fix it or finish it up later. Yeah, exactly, and which I actually did. I picked up the game about a few weeks ago and actually just picked up the manual for this a few weeks ago, and that game would be Ninja Gaiden 3 on the NES. Now, it's a lot different from the first and second game on the system. I think this is the least liked out of the three. It is, but you know what? I, I can see why they kind of are trying to go with a bit of a Strider feel for the game. Like, there's... Like, Which is a great game in its own respect. Yeah, definitely. And I think just people get, you know, put off when things change too much. And there it definitely is a big change in this. But I would recommend it for any Ninja Gaiden fan who's never played this. Uh, really awesome game. Really fun. And really happy to have this in the collection. It is a very good game. Oh, yeah. Uh, so my pickup of the week... Uh, this one's... 
very, very jealous of. It's, I've been trying to find anything for the system, and it's, it's not very easy. No, but especially that. complete. I mean, if you see the size of these cases, obviously they get cracked. So finding this in this condition, really, really awesome find. Yes, and uh, that would be Scud for the Sega Saturn. Yep. Uh, this is a run and gun side scroller type action shooter yeah, yeah kind of like in the vein of contra but not really i was really. about to say yeah you know a little bit just kind of like you're running to the side you shoot dudes shit blows up that sometimes you go into a first person mode oh, yeah, yeah that's at right. certain points uh which i'm not a big fan of it's it's kind of janky and, and like i mean you do all you have to do is just kind of put the gun in one place and you end up killing <laughs> everybody because they all come from the center point anyway but it is a decent game it's a decent amount of fun uh i think the controls are very responsive and uh, it's it's definitely worth playing and if you find it and you have a Saturn, just pick it up. I mean, any Saturn games are hard to find these days, yeah. so. And there's, to be honest, not really that many great games on the Saturn. It's kind of a, well, not really supported well system. Uh, so yeah, so anything you can find for that system that's worth playing, definitely pick it up whenever you can. Absolutely. So yeah, so uh, I think that's pretty much it for today. That's, yeah, that's pretty much our, uh, our pickup video uh, for, for today. Uh, for a question for, for our viewers, um, I don't know if you've personally thought of anything. Okay. I really haven't, for yeah. perfectly honest. Mine is, uh, for you guys, and uh, uh, please respond, I, I'm very interested to find out, but uh, what is your favorite NP or NPC in a game? <laughs> very specifically, like if you have one that you, you've just enjoyed a lot, like uh, a good example, I'm not going to say this is my favorite, mm -hmm. but Error off of... Oh, yes, Link 2, yes. Adventures of Link. What is your personal favorite <laughs> NPC? Um, I can't say what my personal one is because you know it's kind of a collection in the one game, but actually the NPC is an Earthbound, uh, a yeah, really right. amazing kind of quirky, off the beat stuff you would not expect. Just kind of the randomest Very little good. things ever. And yeah, it's, those would be my favorite. I'd say it's a good choice yeah. uh, for myself. Uh, we talked about it on our first video, but Castlevania Two. <laughs> I really like the women, the, those girls that are selling you the whips. I don't know what it is about them. I just every time I get those whips, it makes me feel good because I feel stronger, more empowered. Well, that's what the ladies do. That's they really they do. do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, either way, this uh, this was pickup video number three. Yep. So the World One Dash Three, Nate's Rampage. And uh, this is Ed. This is Max. Saying, never put down those controllers. Never, people.